Guy, thank you for taking the time to talk to us about your work, and in particular, your concept of pop culture icons. Thank you, Karen. Before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, my first career was in hair and makeup, and I did that for a while before moving into film and television, uh, which I studied at NYU. And then I segued into still photography, um, which I've been working in also for the last few years. Uh, but in general, I would consider myself an artist uh, that works in various mediums. Tell us about the Icon Project, Guy. What is it that inspired you to do it? Well, I wanted to find a project that would encapsulate all the different things that I do, like I explained in hair, makeup, filmmaking, photography. Uh, I thought, what could I do that would bring all these things together and um, into a project that would be unique to my abilities. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I came up with this idea to uh, talk about celebrity icons. Um, everyone loves celebrities. Um, and these particular celebrities are probably the biggest entertainment legends of entertainment history. People like Marlon Brando, James Dean, Madonna, John Lennon, Elvis Presley, people like that. Um, so I discuss what it is, what the criteria might be to becoming such a legend. And uh, this discussion I have with 10 unknown actors who are all struggling toward uh, success in the entertainment world themselves. Uh, so we talk about all these different criteria behind becoming a legend. Um, and then I transform these unknown actors visually into the icons that we're talking about. So I do these complete makeovers with them with the hair, makeup, and costume, wardrobe, photography, um, even video. Um, with recreating dance moves and choreography of these legends. And um, so that adds uh, a different element to the documentary where it's not just talking about the icons, but uh, it gives you the, the visual eye candy of the makeovers, which, which everyone loves also. So it's combining uh, our culture's fascination with celebrity and also uh, the idea of the transformation process and the makeovers, which I think people find fun. Um, into one project that I hope people will find uh, interesting and thought-provoking and also uh, entertaining to watch. No! Guy, the people that you work with, are they celebrity impersonators? No, no, actually um, none of them uh, had ever done these characters before they started working with me on, on this film. Uh, it was important to me for two reasons, um, that they were actors. Um, one being I wanted, I wanted to get an actor's perspective on becoming famous and becoming a legend. I wanted to get the perspective of someone who was striving toward that in entertainment and uh, to, to become famous as themselves, you know, hmm. not as a lookalike or impersonator. Um, and also I thought it would be um, much more impressive uh, to be working with someone who had never done these people before and uh, for the transformation process uh, mm -hmm. and, and to show what I can do as an artist uh, rather than working with uh, celebrity impersonators who obviously resemble them so much already. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk in Got to be birds flying higher than a sky more blue I was going to ask you also, Guy, in your opinion, what is it that you think these people have in common? What is it that makes them an icon that lasts over the generations like that? Well, that's, that's the question that I'm um, exploring in the film. And I'm not sure it can ever really be answered um, in a solid way. Like, this is what you need to become an icon. Here's mm. the ingredients. If you fit this mold, you will be a legend. Right. I don't think that can be. But there are certain things that I found they do have in common, like um, lots of them were orphaned as children by one parent or the other, whether through divorce or death. Um, and I think that gave them this just need to, to be loved and, and wanted. Hmm. And it just, it just came out uh, in a different way. And they wanted to be loved by everyone. <laughs> superstars that you mentioned. Take Madonna for example. Why did you choose to recreate Madonna and what does she represent? Why I chose her as far as 
being a legend is that um, she fits most of the criteria, which is this um, sort of across the board, across generation fame. You know, you could, you could ask a 10-year-old uh, who this person in the picture is, and they'll tell you Madonna. You can ask uh, a 110-year-old who this person is, and they'll tell you Madonna. This so is true. That's one of the criteria behind um, me making my choices as to who to include in this film as far as who is an icon. She's fantastic. I knew she'd be a star. She could be. She could be great. She could be a major star. She is a star, George. The biggest star in the universe right now as we speak. Those who love the set, the director's got all kinds of things. The director's hot. He's hip. He's here. He's going to be doing all kinds of things. He's going to change the color of the set. I like he's got a great idea for a blue. Don't change anything, George. He touches one thing, he's gone. I swear. He's history. I want to meet her. You got it. Anytime. Name the place. Name anywhere, any street. You got it. Now. So, Guy, let's talk about Madonna, particularly Madonna of the 80s. When you choose to recreate someone, is there something special that you're looking for? Uh, well, with casting this project, I wanted to find someone uh, who resembled uh, a younger Madonna from the 80s, because I feel that that's, that's the era that she really solidified herself into uh, pop culture, yeah. was during the 80s. Uh, you know, obviously, her career has sustained you know, up until the present, which is, you know, an amazing thing and, and one of the reasons why I consider her such a, such a legend and icon. But I think the 80s were the time that she really, was when she came up and it's when people really took notice and is what locked her into uh, history. Hear your voice, it's like an angel sighing, I have no choice, 